It is the absorbed dose, which is received by the individual, as a result of the intake of radioactive material. And the individual will continue to receive a dose of radiation as long as the traces of radioactivity remain within the body. It means it totally depends on internal exposure. There is two types of exposure, external exposure and internal exposure. In external exposure, radiation source is outside the body. In internal exposure, radiation source is inside the body. These are the different pathway through which the radioactive material enter into the body. Ingestion, inhalation, absorption from skin, wound contamination, intake of radio pharmaceutical. Radioactive material can be in the form of solid, liquids and gas. Through any pathway, radioactive material can be entered into the body like inhalation wound contamination direct inject into the body after entered into the body radioactive material deposit in some specific organ and start decay or disintegrate as they emit radiation within the body and this deposited dose inside the body is called as committed dose. The factor which determines the remaining activity of the radioactive material in the body is the effective half-life. It is related to the physical half-life and biological half-life of the radioactive material. Physical half-life is the time required for the activity of radioactive material decrease to half of its original value. And we cannot alter the physical half-life, which is a character of a given radionuclide. Biological half-life is the time required for the body to eliminate half concentration of the radioactive material. It depends on the chemical composition of radioactive material. The biological half-life can be reduced by increasing the rate of excretion of the radionuclide from the body. Effective half-life is the net effect of combination of physical half-life and biological half-life in removing the radioactive material from the body. For example, a radionuclide has a physical half-life of 6 hours and a biological half-life of 3 hours, then its effective half-life is equal to 2 hours. The effective half-life is always less than either the physical or biological half-life. The committed dose equivalent is the quantitative assessment of the effect of a particular intake of radioactivity over the whole of an individual's working life. It is defined as the dose equivalent accumulated over a period of 50 years following the intake of radioactive material. In the case of children, the period is taken as 70 years. In this formula, T is the period of time in years. If the committed equivalent dose is multiplied by the suitable tissue weighing factors, then the sum of the products is called committed effective dose. In this equation, W, T is the tissue weighing factor. Collective dose. To assess the overall effect of radiation dose on a large group of people. D. Individual dose may be multiplied by the population number exposed in. It is called the collective dose. If n is the number of population receiving a mean organ equivalent dose over a period of time t, then the collective equivalent dose is given by mean organ dose multiply with number of population. Unit of collective dose is person sievert.